over three weeks ago, we released a video showing you irrefutable proof, undeniable evidence that Hillary Clinton is guilty of the crimes that the FBI is investigating right now. We called that finally the end of Hillary Clinton is here. And we had a number of comments down below saying, Oh, look, no, that's not going to happen. No way. No, since you're trying to the establishment, you're a conspiracy. No. And what we have seen since three weeks ago is the political unraveling of this despotic, criminal, career politician's end. And in this video, we're going to go over all the latest details that have happened since showing you the unraveling of Hillary Rodham Clinton. Ever since then, the own State Department that Hillary Clinton was in charge of did an internal audit. And they came out and not only criticized her for her private email use in the State Department, but contradicted a number of lies that Hillary Clinton has said before. Hillary Clinton said, what I did was allowed. What I did wasn't illegal. What I did, other Secretary of States did before. And with this internal audit, with this new investigation from the State Department, they all came out and said, no, Hillary Clinton, you are a liar. You were not allowed to do this. You went above the law more than the previous Secretary of, the, of States, and you are wrong and you are a liar on this issue. And the Clinton campaign, the Clinton Mafia, knew that this was going to be an issue. Ever since 2014, we have Cheryl Mills, Hillary Clinton's own Chief of Staff, when she was Secretary of State. She was preparing for this. They knew this was going to be a key issue. They knew what they did was illegal and that they would have needed to address this in Hillary Clinton's presidential run. That's why they have been preparing their spin, their lies, ever since 2014 covering up their tracks, which shows you more criminal inept behavior by Hillary Clinton. Just lying outright, not only to government officials, but to you, the American people, saying that she was allowed to do this. Well, guess what? You were not. Hillary Clinton actually was using her own also personal AT&T email accounts as Senator and as Secretary of State, which the State Department said, no, don't do this. They were trying to give her a secret phone to encrypt and to hide all the classified information that she was dealing with. She refused to do that, showing you more criminal enough behavior. And again, it's irrefutable. It's undeniable that she violated the law, didn't follow basic government procedures, but also helped release classified information to other people outside of the government. We know the hacker Guccifer, the Romanian hacker, hacked her before and released emails. The case with the FBI investigation is shut and done. She is guilty. Of course, the FBI investigation is still underway. They haven't come out with their conclusions. But the, as the investigation is still occurring, we have Hillary Clinton's top aides suffering from memory loss in the deposition. There are 222 instances of, quote, I don't know, or, quote, I don't recall in the lawsuits that are happening right now with Hillary Clinton's own top people that they were working with and because of all this information because of all the information we covered in the previous video which will be in the description below that you need to watch to understand the greater context of all this even fellow democrats are turning on hillary clinton people who are voting for her are uneasy about this private email use and they're not looking good for her in the polls because of it obviously she is just the blatant outright liar when it comes to this situation that's why she stopped campaigning in New Jersey canceled an event and she is urgently campaigning now in California because of all this new information Bernie Sanders is actually looking like he will win in California a very important state for the Democrats in the primaries other people are jumping sheep including Jake Tapper from CNN he disappeared from the Clinton Foundation's website when he was supposed to speak at the Clinton Global Initiative there's other scandals within the mainstream media like anchor George Stephanopoulos who has been donating money 700 no no seventy five thousand dollars in donations to the Hillary Clinton Foundation as he was reporting on her biasedly again all the reporters Hillary Clinton has set up a system where even reporters pay her 
This is how much control she has of the establishment where the mainstream media not only gravel for her, not only beg her, but pay her in order to get access to interviews where she scripts everything that is said. She pretty much has the mainstream media as her PR. No one in the mainstream media is even calling her out because for over 175 days she held, has not even held a press conference. There was no press conference or questions from the media in 2016 from Hillary Clinton. She is afraid. She is running. She is dodging. And the people are finding out more information about her. It's not only her speeches to Goldman Sachs that she's keeping secret, but also her son-in-law is tied in with Goldman Sachs. Bill Clinton was even given six figures of money because of speeches to a vulture fund that takes away money from poor people as his wife is still running for president. All this financial Wall Street, Goldman Sachs corruption is leading to people waking up and now 20,000 people are committed to protesting Hillary Clinton at the DNC in Philadelphia. The tide has turned against her and now even the major media, they're even saying Hillary Clinton She's going to probably lose the nomination to Bernie Sanders. Now, of course, poor Bernie. I'm not a fan of his in any way. But he is picking up super delegates, which have been a key important aspect for Hillary Clinton's delegates. She has been winning the delegate race because of the secret super delegates, which are all party insiders. But they're even switching sides against her and turning to Bernie Sanders like they just did in Hawaii with Donald Trump galvanizing and taking advantage of this situation he is ultimately changing the 2016 electoral map and because of this he's also going through a lot of controversies when it comes to his Trump universities which many people feel that they were extorted which many people feel that they were defrauded when they were taken into university there's a lawsuit happening right now with a judge who is proceeding over the case who has actually awarded scholarships to illegal immigration who comes from a Mexican background and Donald Trump has been calling that out and there's been a lot of controversy on that but the lawsuit who is suing Donald Trump the law firm has actually paid Bill and Hillary Clinton six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars all this information is coming to light showing you just how undeniably corrupt undeniably everyone is jumping ship from this horrible human being who deserves to be in jail for her criminal, illegal, illicit, despotic, luciferian activities. What do you think will happen next? Let me know in the comment section below. Support us on Patreon. One dollar a month keeps this independent, fully free, independent organization run by you and for you. Supporting us will invest so we could do more for you. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more important information coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are changed.